Well, we're done and dusted with the split round in the AFL and now we're full steam ahead of the finals. AFL round 19 kicks off Thursday night. Mark McVeigh in the West. Frio taking on the Blues. It'll be an interesting game after Frio's loss, uh, what, 14 days ago. Well, I picked it. I knew Freya would lose uh, last week against the Saints, but they'll bounce back very strongly against Carlton if they want to make a huge finals push. Sydney had their winning run brought to an end against the Hawks. What about the Bombers? Can they uh, do the same thing? Yes, they can. They can beat uh, Sydney at the SCG. Going that way. They travel really well. They've had some uh, magnificent games against the Swans, especially at the SCG. They love that ground. They enjoy it. Uh, it's in tight and close, and I think they'll beat the Swans in a really tight one. Where were you, 96, when Plugger kicked that? I was uh, three rows back, <laughs> watching, cheering for the Swans. Oh, well, <laughs> who would have thought? Uh, Adelaide take on the West Coast Eagles in another blockbuster game at the Adelaide Oval. Yeah, the Crows will win. Uh, West Coast are really struggling. Uh, Simpson's under the pump, their coach, isn't he? And uh, they uh, really need a win. But Adelaide are looking for that finals push and will win. Yeah, I think it's a bit harsh to put a first-year coach under the pump when he's That's inherited. what they do in uh, West Coast, though. Yeah. They expect big things really quickly. Especially yeah. when the other team's going so well. Now, Richmond take on the GWS Giants, who've got awful injuries at yeah. the moment. Yeah, it's, and it happened again last year as well. Uh, a lot of their young players, check them in early for surgery and get them right. But, uh, yeah, Richmond will be too strong. Gold Coast have to bounce back. They take on St Kilda, who are terrific, and the bye probably came at the wrong time for the Saints. Yeah, absolutely, and this is a really tough game because Gold Coast are really limping to the finals. Well, they're out of the eight at the moment, and St Kilda have found a little bit of form. Uh, that Lenny Hayes factor keeps coming through. I think Gold Coast are winning a really, really tight one, but only because it's at Metricon. OK, one of the other great games this weekend is North taking on Geelong. Uh, I can't pick North week in, week out, and Geelong are starting to find their mojo. Yeah, absolutely, and I think, but it's a game where North have to win. But they will put this as a uh, mid, late season final. They need to beat Geelong. They can beat them, and I think they will. There's about ten of those games every year for North where they have to win, oh, no. and they don't lose them. They don't win them. <laughs> Do many of them. Uh, the Brisbane Lions have found some form. They were terrific against the Gold Coast. Uh, can they beat Melbourne? No, I think Melbourne will win, uh, even with the Rockcliffe factor. Um, I think Melbourne will beat. Um, Brisbane and Ruzi uh, staying on for that third year is really important for them. They'll take a lot of confidence out of that yeah. and they'll win. Brisbane's uh, Tom Rockcliffe averaging about 35 possessions every game for the last month, so certainly in form there. The Hawks were terrific last week. Western Bulldogs are going to get a big scalp soon, but I don't know whether it's going to be this weekend. No, I don't think so. I think the Hawks, uh, after that mighty win against the Swans, uh, obviously Jared Roughhead up and about. In Tasmania too, nice and cold, so uh, that'll be interesting. But I think Hawthorne, with the team that they have and the players they've got coming back into their side, the Western Bulldogs, I think you're right, will take a big scout, but not this week. World's angriest man was Eddie Maguire about three-quarter time last weekend. Uh, <laughs> will this weekend against Port uh, change that mood? Uh, no, it won't. Uh, <laughs> I think Port Adelaide, uh, they've uh, coming out of that little rut that they had. Uh, they are obviously uh, t t tape it off with their training. And Collingwood just uh, don't look like the side that we've seen earlier in the year. And uh, Eddie could be going right off. He doesn't like the Sunday evening games either. He's <laughs> very clear about that, is our mate Ed. Let's have a look at Mark's predictions for the weekend. Fremantle on Thursday night. The Bombers to take care of the Swans on Friday. I don't agree. Adelaide, Richmond, the Gold Coast in the easy picks. They're north. Melbourne, Hawthorne wrapping it up with Port Adelaide to continue Eddie's sour mood.